So if you guys don't know anything about me and you're just getting to the channel, my name is Chile DeCastro. I'm an autodidactic constitutional law scholar, and I've been studying the history of what makes law, where law comes from, tracking back the the very origins of what, what the Constitution's based upon, the founding fathers. I, I've done this crazy deep study on understanding constitutional law. And so then what I did is I've been able to devise a system, understanding that the police have created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols that they use to arrest you. I've also created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols for you to follow that gives you back the power when you're forced to interact with these jackboot thug things. You either have to have a trifold in your visor or you have a cop card in your you wallet. guys saw the intro. I'm doing it. I'm still doing the same thing. I'm going to keep giving you guys a free pair of cop cards. If you get a trifold, that's what I'm going to do. But as you guys know, we can't stop. We don't stop. We're not going to stop. We have to keep fighting back constantly. Show you guys how horrible and awful this system is. Okay. Green Bay, Wisconsin. How are you? What can I help you with? Well, you can't help me, I guess. I mean, I don't need any help. You don't need any help? No, I don't need any help. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm pretty self-sufficient. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's your name and badge number, sir? My name is Mike. Hey, Mike. Badge number is 677. How you doing, Mike? Good, how are you? Good to see you, man. How long have you been a copper for? For almost nine years here in Green Bay. A lot of places I go to, they say the cops are terrible. I was just in Philadelphia, and they said the people I interviewed on the street said the cops were all pretty, pretty rough, pretty rough around there. Mm -hmm. But the citizens I talked to yesterday here in town, they all said that you guys... Uh, I didn't, I didn't really get any complaints. I, I said, is there any particular cop who harasses people? Quick. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, I'm not a fan of police, but uh, at yeah. the same time, I'll treat you like an individual Absolutely. until I, someone gives me a directive or tries to demand my ID or, I mean, this is just what I do. Putting this on YouTube? Yeah, brother, you'll, up, brother? you'll, you'll be on YouTube. This is Mike. Awesome. Mike's been nothing but polite so far, so I'm happy to see that. Well, I'm gonna go inside and take a look around and, yeah, and, see, and see, how, see what you guys got for decorations in there. Hey, good morning, how are you? Good, how can I help you, sir? I just wanted to come into the, World famous Green Bay Police Department, and you know, because you guys are known, I mean, you know, Green Bay. Oh, yeah, I got so, so I stress test rights all over the country. Okay. I go from police department to police department. Uh, you know, I have a First Amendment right to film, so that's I just I just go in and make sure that my my rights are being respected. Oh, cool. This is just part of making sure our freedoms are respected. That's, oh, yeah, that, you have that's, right that, that's all I'm doing. And uh, I met Officer Mike outside. He he was pretty nice. He, he, he was really tall. That guy was really tall. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, not really much to see here. No one's, no one's said anything to me. Like I said, you know, these things are typically if... Uh, You're Dan? Am I Dan? Yeah. Uh, Between Dan? I cannot confirm or deny my name is Dan. Okay. But uh, what's your name, sir? Are you, are you a copper? Oh, I might be, yeah. What's your name and badge number then? Well, I don't have to give you that because I'm not working. Oh, you're not in your official capacity. No, no, I wonder that. So, well, that, I, sir, do you feel like being recorded? No, so you can't do that in here. Mm -hmm. You can do it to us all you want. So let me you now, can't record other people. Now let me tell you this: go pound sand. You go you pound you sand, bro. Mm -hmm. Go get get on your knees and eat my shorts. Okay. Jump down on your knees and right. and eat my shorts. I'm filming them right now. What are you gonna do about it? Sorry. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I can take you out. No, you no, can't. You can. No, no, you can't. No, can go me. ahead. Actually, now let, let me educate this dirty jackboot thug pig. Right. Here you go. Oh, hey, man. My name is Chili DeCastro. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Here's the law right here, dunce cap. There's always one dumbass pig. You stupid pig. You shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. You should have minded your business, you moron. What did I say? I said it was pretty boring. I was about to leave. I was about to leave. There's always one dumb pig. Always. Come on out here and arrest me, buddy. Come on out here and arrest me. There's the jackboot thug pig. We found him already. I was only here for, I was here for seven minutes. Now Mike back there was very respectful, very respectful. But that dumb pig had to come out here and give me orders. And that doesn't work. That doesn't work, piggy. That don't work, you can't do that. You see, ma'am, I'm, I'm telling you, this, this is the reason why I do this. I know you have to stay on the cop's side. I'm not saying you're on my side. I'm just talking to the audience right now. You see, this is why we do it. You know, you got people like that who don't know that this is a public forum. I can film in here anytime I'd like. <laughs> so let me show you guys. Let me just put this right here so it'll be. Okay. 
inside your trifold. It says right here, right to film cops. And this would include police departments, police stations. You know, this, this would include this right here. You have a first amendment right to film police. That right does not change when you go into a police lobby. It's right there, the right to film cops. God bless America. That's what I'm trying to say here. You don't, you don't get to act in your official capacity and not identify yourself. I got him on camera. Eventually I'll find out his name and badge number. I don't have to identify myself. He has to identify who he is. And then he started to give me directives as though he was working in his official capacity. That's the problem. You don't get to do that. You don't get to have it both ways. Either you're working your official capacity or off duty. If you're off duty, then you don't have to identify. And I'll explain the same thing to the commander there as well. That shift commander is right there. He has to address something right now. I sue people. I, I travel the country suing police departments. I'm gonna sue and I'll sue him as well. He'll be listed. I, I will sue you guys. I have to get his name and badge number. He doesn't get to tell me what to do and act in an official capacity and not identify. I guarantee you he violated policy. Yes, and it is our policy that we have to go to our next available supervisor. So we're looking to see if our other sergeant or lieutenant will be coming out. Bye. Hi. Are you Pretty. who wants to talk to me? Thank you. Good looking lady. I'm Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. I, I need that cop's name and badge number. Sure. I, 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 I'm not gonna just so I can, I know, I just want to be able to hear you. So you, you step out here if you want. I okay. You shut that door. Yeah, sure. Nice to meet you. Aaron, your name? Aaron, yeah. How are you doing, Aaron? Good. So listen, my name is Julie Castro. The name of my channel is called Delete Laws. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Sure. I travel the country okay. and I hold police departments accountable. I'm known all over the world. Okay. And if I don't get that cop's name and badge number, uh -huh. then I'm going to file litigation against, I'll file against you, Aaron, because sure. that's the only name I have. Okay. He's not allowed to come out and say to me, hey, what's your name? And I say, what's your name and badge number? He says, I'm not on duty. I say, okay, fine. He says, your name Dan? I said, I'm not going to confirm or deny my name. And then he says, okay, well, you can't film any of your, then he tries to work in his official capacity. Sure. You don't get it both ways. I'm a little bit incensed because I was leaving here. I've been here for nine minutes. He threatened to come back out. I don't know what he, I don't know what he meant by that, but I need his name and badge number because what I want to do is ask the people of Green Bay when I put it in a short in a short video sure. who he is and if other people have complaints against this guy. So what I'm hearing from you is you, I need his name and badge number. Yep, you're upset because he didn't identify himself. You can't you. act in your official capacity and not give your name and badge number. Camera before I came out here, it looks like he told you his what name was Solomon. Is that correct? No, no, sure, no, he didn't. Came out. I mean. I have it on video as well. I have it on two cameras. Sure, sure. He came out and asked me yep. if my name was Dan. I said, I'm not going to tell you my name's Dan or not. And then he said, well, you know, you can't film in here. He's, you're making someone feel uncomfortable. So then I went right over and I put the camera around. And the guy said, what are you going to do sure, about it? Because sure. I'm allowed to film any. I don't like to put my camera because I don't have people's faces. It's okay. But I'm, I mean, Aaron, if, 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 if you want the lawsuit against you, you go online, you go on Google. Then I pay Google a little fee to put your name at the top of Google. Well, yeah, no. And that's so what I do. There's no reason to file a lawsuit against me. So I, I need his name and badge number. You've got yeah. his name on the back here. And okay. you also have my card with my contact information. We went away from badge numbers because we changed from badge numbers to department Solomon seniority. Aries. Is he a lieutenant, so a captain, a sergeant? What is he, what is Solomon? He's, he's a police officer. He's an officer. Yeah, well, yes, he should not be promoted. There are not one video or two videos. There's millions of videos of cops abusing, raping, torturing, killing, prosecuting, persecuting people. Sometimes that happens, yeah. The reason I hate cops at 18 years old, they put me in the yeah. torture press. My hands are purple. They were torturing me because I, I told them to F off so many times. So they tortured me for drinking. Sounds like you had a really bad experience. Oh no, millions of people have. My channel's huge. Yeah. Millions of people have had this experience of being abused and hurt by police. Think you, you think people want to attack cops? I think sometimes they do, yeah. And I know that they do because I work in this job. So You've been it's attacked? Not, like I said, how many times, to have you on how many times have you been attacked? I would love to have you on the I got your card. How many times have you been attacked? You can get a hold of How many times have you been way, attacked? Okay? Just you tell know? me. Answer it. How many? Who, how many times have you been punched? Who, who would punch this face? Very nice to meet you. Take care, Aaron. Goodbye, honey. Oh no, there's millions of people who feel like I do. There's millions of people. There's millions of people who hate that thin blue line because it represents, a, we, the way we see it is it represents a gang. A gang? A gang. No, I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Take care of yourself, man. Remember, don't shoot anybody, bro. Don't shoot anybody. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, Gators. To get the trifold and cop cards, go to my website, www.projectconstitutiontiktok.com.